One of my first memories of coming to the UK was coming here as a nine-year-old from Kenya for the first time. Ang pangalan ko Baikan. Three years na ako dito. I remember coming um, here from uh, another city to London and working 15-hour night shifts and um, walking around London trying to find somewhere to buy bedding and not being able to find anywhere to get a cover or pillows um, and just being completely lost in the, the size of it. So to come from another country and have uh, speak another language and not know anybody, yeah, it'd be hard. It took time to assimilate into a new culture. It, take, it always takes time. When I first came, I didn't speak a word of English. We were a big family. We stayed together. But it was different. You could catch a bus. There were normal roads. There were schools that you would find a seat and a book. In 2011, I moved to Madrid for a year as part of my degree. I was super, super excited, super excited. But then the night before, I just found myself sort of crying myself to sleep because I didn't realise how much of a big deal it actually was. But then you think about the language barrier, the cultural assimilation. Oh, God, it was painful. You're always under this parallel tension of ensuring that you try and make a living and you try and make a, a go of this life in the United Kingdom but also, at the same time, ensure that you don't lose that connection with your heritage, your country of origin, your peoples. In this country, it's so hard to get a visa. It's so hard to get any type of residency in this country. It's so hard for anybody to be able to settle here for a, a, a big period of time. But you wouldn't think that. If you read some of the newspapers, they just make it sound as if everybody's coming over here and the whole country's been flooded. And it's simply not true. I think it would be incredibly daunting to come somewhere like England, especially at the moment with times of austerity, people get very negative about migration and migrants coming in. So it'd be very brave, I think but it'd be difficult, it'd be a difficult transition. Mahirap, mahirap pumunta dito sa ibang bansa kapag hindi mo maalam ng mga salita nila kasi aabusuin ka. Ay, kahit ano, kahit natutulog ako, ginigising ako para sa uh, maalagang ko yung mga bata, makita ko yung mga, ay, inaano ko yung May sakit sila. Kahit may sakit ako, ginigising ako. Parang matulungan ko yung bata. Pero sa akin, hindi ko kaya kasi siyempre, pagod ako. Tsaka gusto kong matulog. Ay, hindi ko na kaya gumigising. Parang magkapahinga ako sa trabaho. Um, I'm very proud of the NHS, I'm very proud of our benefit system, I'm proud of those things that we, we all contribute to. I also feel that everybody else should have access to those as well. So I want to share that. I don't feel like people shouldn't be able to come here and enjoy those. I think that if they come here and enjoy those, they're going to take them back to other places and, and build that too. So. It was like one of the best experiences, the point where I actually got the um, coordinates of my street tattoos. <laughs> on my wrist because I had such a, an amazing year. Oh, ngayon nag-aaral na ako ng salitang English, parang matuto ako mag-English o parang matuto ako magbasa ng English. According to Wikipedia, that is Madrid in my street, but it could be, I don't know, Burkina Faso for all I know. So, it's quite fun.